Hello, my name is Claudio and welcome to another Italian tutorial. Now today we're not going to learn any Italian, but I'm going to give you some advice on how to find free online resources that you might find useful. So first of all, things that I think you need are a dictionary, Google Translate and a phonemic chart. Now the phonemic chart, just Google phonemic chart and the first result is the result that you want and basically it's just amazing. It's a collection of all the English sounds and if you know the sounds and the symbols for each sound already before starting the course you're going to have a huge advantage and you're going to learn the pronunciation a lot quicker. The dictionary is also important because you need to know what words are especially if you're not an English native speaker. I recommend the Cambridge dictionary which is online and it's free. Now Google Translate Google Translate is going to be your best friend, but careful because it doesn't translate sentences. Okay, so everything you put into Google comes out wrong. Google Translate is very useful for when you want to know what a word means in another language. Okay, so if you use a single word, it works. If you use a couple of words, a bunch of words, a sentence, multiple sentences, it's going to come out wrong. You're going to get confused. So do not use Google Translate unless it's just for one single word because you're going to transform something that is extremely useful in something that could cause you confusion. Some additional resources. Now these are all additional resources, meaning these are for people that think that they are not learning enough, they want to do more, for people that are very passionate. Now Google, YouTube and Wikipedia are your best friends again. Careful because on YouTube you find non-native speakers teaching Italian and sometimes they teach it wrong and that can cause confusion so what you have to do on YouTube is go and watch all the videos you want but make sure that the person who does the videos is a native speaker. You can send a personal message to them or you can just figure it out by you know the look of the channel and so on. Travel Linguist, Dizionario Italiano and Italian About are very useful as well, but these are not interactive. Buzu, Duolingo, Live Mocha, Memorize, or however they are pronounced, these are also useful and these are interactive. Now, some of them you have to pay for or you have to sign up for, and you can get something for free and something and something you have to pay, I don't know. I have personally used Buzu and I can say it's it's quite nice. It's uh, it's very good for beginners that need confidence and practice. Skype.com is the best thing ever. So you want to use these websites to get to know people that speak Italian as their first language and then get in touch with them through Skype. Skype is your best friend because it's the only way for you to practice Italian if you don't live in Italy. But always be careful who you're talking to, especially if you're younger than 18. Hope this video has been helpful. I will see you in the next one. Take care and see you soon.